I'm actually super excited to update this top 10 list. The quarterback is obviously the most important position in Madden, and I know a lot of people is rocking the same quarterback right now. He is probably the top dog in the game, but there are people like myself and other people I've seen in the Twitch chat, the YouTube comments, who are getting really bored of that number one guy. I don't know why I'm saying the number one. You guys know who I'm talking about, so I wanted to update this top 10. The last time I did it was three weeks ago, like I said, so gotta go ahead and get it. But if you enjoy top 10s like this, I do them for every position. I do gameplays and all these new cards. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. We're on that road to 50 thousand subscribers and let's just jump right into number 10. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, Easy Mutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Hey, boys, so I actually have to go on Mutt.gg. I am recording this on Thursday night when the servers are down. I am actually going to be out of town when you guys are watching this video. So, yeah, the servers are cooked. I can't even get onto Madden Ultimate Team. So, the top 10 being done right here, but it's still not bad. We get to still see everything on Mutt.gg. Matthew Stafford is our number 10, though. He did literally just come out, and this is a card that I was definitely disappointed with and also we just got the exact same card for him last year he was a 98 sugar rush card last year it really does suck but at the end of the day his ability stack isn't terrible i will say this is definitely a top heavy list like the top five guys feel 10 times better than the guys at the bottom of this list so matthew stafford feels a little bit off compared to the top guy that you've probably all been using at the top right the number one i keep on mentioning the number one guy when you look at him statue quarterback he has insane stats but with quarterbacks and everything and really in bad ultimate team the only thing that really matters is the abilities the release really and maybe a little bit of the speed you can see he doesn't have the best release in the game he has slinger six which is kind of his own i got to use him earlier in the year at the team of the week and it cocks back a lot it is not very good it is not very fast and especially when you throw in the guy that can't really make some you know scrambling plays for himself it is a little bit rough to use but he like i said that's how bad the quarterback list is and how shallow it is that a guy like Matthew Stafford still makes it. He does get Howard Master for one and Gunslinger for zero, which looks really good. But the most expensive ability in the game is Sefi Lead. And he doesn't get that discount at all. So although he gets good discounts right here, you still have to spend six AP minimum, even if you don't want gift wrapped. And if you want gift wrapped, it's seven AP. That is more than quarterbacks we were getting like, like a month or two ago. I wish he was a little bit better, especially at a 98 overall. I think they should make statue quarterbacks a lot better AP-wise. Like, he should realistically be, like, 2 to 3 AP for, to make people even want to try him out being that slow. But, yeah, I think they could have did a little bit better at Stafford here, man. Finds himself at number 10. Now we got number nine. He actually just got reduxed as well. Mr. Ryan Fitz Magic. This was a card that I didn't have the best time with when doing the gameplay on him. But he was also, I would say, a little bit better of an option than Matt Stafford. You are getting plus six speed, which... Honestly, 88 is still really slow. We have 92 de like defensive tackles out there, 99 DNs as well. There's a lot of fast guys. Even the free cards like Micah Parsons, the Trevon Walker are all really, really fast in the game. You can see he has solid stats across the board. An AKA card, meaning he gets a slighted up X factor to start the game. The one thing I don't like about AKA quarterbacks, though, is that it turns off and on. So you'll get backyard quarterback, which is Howard Master. But for me, I don't like to rely, even the pass lead elite right here, I don't like to have these on and rely on them because you got to remember you have to turn, it's going to turn off at a point, right? So I guess a good one to use on him, which actually makes him a little bit valuable too, is that he does get run and gun, which is for sure the the worst option when you look at it full game perspective. But like I said, turning on and off running gun, you can get a little bit glitchy, make some crazy throws on the run. His stack isn't the greatest in the world. You are getting zero AP gunslinger. Probably, I mean, the one thing we would love to see here is like a two AP Sefi lead. I'm not the biggest fan of spending one extra AP just for a pass lead. It, it's really not that much better at the end of the day. So you're going to get a minimum of what? Seven AP stack because you need two, three right here. Four AP for the Howard Master. Two AP for the Gunslinger. One AP for the Gift Wrapped. It's not the best in the world. And also, he doesn't have the best release in the world. Slinger 5 either. It is tough. Like I said, the bottom of this list feels miles behind the top end of it. Number eight, we have a card that I've actually very still impressed with. I did a gameplay on him. I got to use him for a little bit on stream when he originally came out. And Dak was actually a very good card for his overall. He gets the exact same stack as our the two cards we just showed you. Seven AP, right? But the thing with him is he is much faster at 93 speed. He also has Slinger 1, which if you played Madden in the past, it was the best release in the game for years and years. They did nerf it down this year, but it's still known as like the second or third best release in the game. Although it's miles behind the number one release, it's still still up there it's still one of the better ones definitely better than the two guys we just showed you and like i said speed you're getting much much more speed right here you could actually maybe run away from people or even break out of the pocket for a throwaway a lot more attack than versus the other two guys we just showed you and nothing really crazy uh like ability wise sefi lead is three gunslinger zero 
You got your Howard Master for two. It's a 7 AP stack, so nothing insane, but I still like Dak, man. Remember that overall in the top right doesn't mean anything. We just showed you a 98 who's way worse than Dak. Number seven, I did. I was very high on Trey Aikman when he first originally came out. As you guys know, this dude has one of the more, he's another statue quarterback, actually the slowest guy on this list, and also doesn't have the best release in the world. I will say this is definitely better than the Stafford and also the Ryan Fitz Magic release. It's a little bit faster. It does have a little bit of a cockback on the short throws, but the deep is one of the best in the game. The one thing that's really good about Troy Aikman, he is an AKA card. The one thing I remember running on him, though, is when you throw this stack down here, you get your 0 AP Gunslinger at 1 AP Sefi Elite. That is insane. Remember, Sefi Elite is the most expensive one in the game. So that is 1 AP, and then it's 1 AP for Gift Wrap. So that's 2 AP right there. And then you can realistically, I, I don't know why it's not, oh, here it is right here. You can run Backyard Quarterback, and that would be a 2 AP stack, but remember, it won't be on all game. But for 2 AP, you can realistically run 0 AP slot apprentice, running back apprentice for 0 if you want that on the entire game. Having a card that only costs 2 AP to run Sefi lead Gunslinger and also Gift Wrapped is absolutely insane. I mean, that is a broken stack in the game. You are taking some losses to run him, though. You're very slow. You don't have the best release. But if you're a big AP saver or even if you're a runner, this is probably the best runner's quarterback in the game. Only from the fact that you're saving AP for your offensive line, your running back. I think Aikman... The best saving AP quarterback in the game, but like I said, a lot of negatives holding him back from being higher than this list. Number six, we got Aaron Rodgers' LTD. This was actually a very fun card to use. I'm a big fan of Aaron Rodgers. I know he is the originator of that Slinger 1 release, which like I said, is one of the top three releases in the game. He's another... Well, I keep calling him statue quarterbacks. I think that's what everyone really calls him. Another slow end quarterback, but you are getting a very solid release. His AP stack also isn't garbage at the end of the day. You are getting your Sefi lead for two, your Howard Master for one. And then I think, yeah, it's a five AP stack. So the best actual stack we've seen yet on this list while also not having the intertwined abilities like Aikman. But I will take a little bit less, or I will pay a little bit extra AP if it means getting a better release. I do think Slinger 3 or Slinger 1 is definitely one of the better releases, the Aaron Rodgers release in the game. I'm I'm okay with overpaying when it comes to that so at the end of the day i think rogers just a little bit above aikman for me and also i don't know what it is with rogers man i feel like he just makes me play like a 10 times better player i don't know if it's the or the drip or what i don't know i love rogers and madden now we head into our top five where it gets a little bit better we are getting much better cards and it feels like they're miles ahead now josh allen is a fast quarterback 93 speed just like our guy Dak we showed you earlier he also does have that slinger three which like i said isn't the most insane release in the world but it's not really bad like terrible at anything but it's not great at anything if that makes sense I, I know it's like pretty good at the deep for compared or compared to at least other releases in the game the one thing I like about Josh Allen though is that you are getting also a 5 AP sack while maintaining speed Sefi lead for one you get your Howard Master for one Gunslinger for two gift wrap for one I know it sounds like a lot of numbers thrown at you, but just know it's a 5 AP stack, 93 speed on Josh Allen. And like I said, if you like to throw a lot of deep bombs, one of the better deep releases in the game. Josh Allen, honestly, was a card that I enjoyed in that gameplay. I went into that gameplay not very hyped because we already had some other big dogs in the, in the game. But he honestly impressed me, man. A top five quarterback. And like I said, I feel like the top five has a little bit of a cliff to number six. So I think Josh Allen's definitely up there, man. A fun card to switch it up with if you wanted. Number four, we got our guy, Pat Mahomes. And Pat Mahomes is such a good card when it comes to AP still to this day. I know he came out a while ago. He is still that 99. The thing with him, though, is, is I don't know if a lot of you guys are using the token when it comes to this. I know that token's very valuable because you could use it on Karloftis. Jair Brown is one of the best cards in the game. Those are probably the two best guys to use it on. So I don't know if you're using the token on Pat Mahomes. So I feel like I should do this with him without the token. But without the token, he's not too insane. You are getting Sefi lead for uh, three. You get your Howard Master, and then it's Gunslinger, and then also uh, Gift Wrap. That is 7 AP. But with the token, he becomes insane because you got to remember you are getting the X Factor turned on, which is basically Howard Master, and then you don't got to pay for it down here. He's very good, dude. He is absolutely amazing. I also think he gets another X Factor, right? You can get the running gun if you wanted, ammunition as well. He is super, super good AP-wise. He is also very fast. Still gets Super Bowl theme team, which a lot of people still have. Is probably the second best theme team in the game. And then, obviously, release-wise, he has his own release in the game. It's not awful. I will say it's very inconsistent. Like, sometimes you'll get a crazy fast throw. Sometimes you'll get the cock back. But I will say it's a lot better than past Mahomes cards. He's still a dog. But, honestly, I wish they made Mahomes feel like Mahomes in real life. He should be much better than he is. A 99 Mahomes should be the best quarterback in the game for a fat minute. But... Yeah, you guys know how it goes with them, man. 
Number three, it's still crazy how good this card is, especially for his price tag. He is 139,000 coins on Xbox. I even put him in our Budget Beast video we did the other day. I honestly think he is one of the first cards I would buy if I was brand new to Mutt. You could literally throw him in. He's a top three quarterback, in my opinion. He still has the best release in the game. There's actually only two cards on this list that have the best release. The other guys that have gotten this release, like Lamar Jackson... Um, I, I can't remember who, if anyone else recent got it, but they make them absolutely garbage. Like, they destroyed that Lamar card, if you guys remember. He doesn't even get the stack on his 97 MVP. But Doug Williams, still amazing. Use the token on him. I think the pass token's not as valuable, and you also most people do have two of those ones. I will say Doug Williams is definitely a little bit better when it comes to the stack because you will get it for 6 AP once you put the token on him. Sefi lead right there is a little expensive, the Howard Master, but if you throw the token on him, you can end up getting, oh, where's it at down here? You get the backyard quarterback or the Howard Master for zero, which is super, super nice. It's hard to go away from this release. It is the best once you use it and then go away from it. Although Doug Williams and our number one guy can get very boring, once you go away from it, you find yourself coming back and you realize how much easier it is thrown with these guys. And at number two, I do got Mr. Anthony Richardson, one of the more fun cards I've gotten to use this year. Combine theme team, the number one theme team in the game right now as well. So you could easily get this guy up to 99 speed if you really wanted to. 97 base is still ridiculous. Going to run away from a lot of people, make some plays back there. He doesn't have the craziest release in the world. He does have that same release I was mentioning earlier with Josh Allen and Aikman. It is not the best when it comes to like the short, but the medium and the deep are some of the better releases in the game when it comes to this. So Anthony Richardson is a guy you can make some plays out the pocket, make some huge bomb throws as well but the one thing that's nice about these combine cards is they get these x factors that are on all game long after nine so you can make some crazy ability stacks if you wanted escape artist is garbage please do not use that i know we all reminisce on madden 21 madden 22 but it is absolutely garbage sadly so we do got pass lead elite though which is nice i don't know if you guys want to use no sefi lead or no pass lead elite for nine plays i guess if you can get away with it running the ball or maybe making some little dumpy throws but against all the ko's right now it's really hard to use that but running gun is super good running gun on all game long especially with a 99 speed potential quarterback is super amazing his stack isn't the greatest unless you use this Howard map or yeah the pass lead elite right here for nine uh for the for the x factor but at the end of the day the stack is still usable i think 99 speed is definitely very valuable i also like the bomb potential on the card richardson's a very good card man but i don't think anybody stacks up to qb1 right now and at number one we all know who it is we're all very bored of the card i think we're all sick and tired of bo jackson and i would be okay if they just wiped bo jackson from all of our accounts even if i lost like a million coins I'd be okay with it. I am so bored of using him right now. But at the end of the day, I can't, like, you know, look away from it. He is the best quarterback in the game. He has the best release in the game. He has 99 speed. The one big thing that, honestly, I hear a lot of people talking about is this right here. Let me know. Do you guys have problems with throwing the pressure? I honestly, obviously, I see it. But I use every car in the game. You guys know that. I do gameplays and everybody. I notice the same problems that I have with Bo with the same exact other cards. If a guy's in my face, it's going to be an under pressure. I haven't noticed it to be any too crazier with him. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I still see him used. He's the only quarterback, by the way, the only quarterback really used in tournaments unless somebody's messing around and trying to have some fun. I mean, it's Bo Jackson, dude. He also, after nine plays, gets to have on all game long trust where he can run around doing Bo Jackson things and not fumble. It is absolutely insane. And he gets the stack for 6 AP with no token needed. Yeah, it's really just not a competition here at all. All right, boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, man. The top 10 quarterbacks, like I said, a very top-heavy position. I think we all are using Bo Jackson right now. But if you wanted to switch it up, I think this list was a perfect one for you guys. I think Anthony Richards is probably the next best up. You could use, like, guys like Josh Allen. Or maybe if you want to try out the stationary, the statue quarterbacks, you can go ahead and give it a go, man. Every, you can really do anything. It's already March. About to be April. Have some fun with the game, man. Hope to see you guys in the next one, though. Peace out, boys.